There is a battle that is arising, all expected at Real Madrid, as far as who is going to be donning into the shirt number 10 of Real Madrid. Because there is a player known as Modric that has been donning it for the last 11 years. And there comes in a player knocking at the door of Real Madrid, announcing his departure from PSG. His ideal, expect, his ideal destination is Real Madrid, and that is Kylian Mbappe. He's also looking at that, that shirt number 10, and we're here to obviously bring you that story. Marco Reus has a new big proposal on his next career, and where he's expected to be playing at next season. Welcome to the Rokani Media Football. Second video of the day. Hope you guys are really doing okay, and you're really having the best of a Monday. 13th of May, 2024 it is. And we are bringing you the latest news and information as far as your favorite teams are really concerned. We started off the day <coughs> with what we call the uh, player ratings of Astor 1, Manchester United 0, and we named William Saliba as a man of the match. If you happen to have missed on that, if you happen to have gone ahead to miss out on that, you can as well go on to the video section and really watch that video. <coughs> it's like three, four hours are uh, old, right? So, we thank God for the gift of life, the Muslims, Barak Laufikum, and may the living true God bless you abundantly in here for you. And continue to subscribe because we want to hit 21,100 21, subscribers before the end of today. Remember, we hit 21,000 subscribers and let's continue subscribing. 200 likes, smash on this video, and let's obviously jet it off with the story coming in from Kylian Mbappe. Before we go to the battle for the shirt number 10, we've been told by Marca that <coughs> Kylian Mbappe, while giving his commitment to Real Madrid, knew that nothing was going to be like in 2022, and that he had to accept some roles and essential conditions to joining a winning team led by Carlo Ancelotti. We all know that in 2022, this guy had a verbal agreement with uh, Real Madrid's president, that is Fiorentino Perez. And when he turned heel, after Macron, the president of France, went ahead to obviously call him, you know, to obviously go and really stay there because France wanted to use Kylian Mbappe as the superstar to bid. <coughs> Sorry about that. To bid for the hosting of the Olympics that are going to be happening this year in uh, Paris, Marseille, and all the cities they're really having, Real Madrid <clears throat> sort of it that Kylian Mbappe turned it down. The former president of Real Madrid came in through and obviously slated the leadership of uh, Fiorentino Perez, and he went ahead to recite how he went ahead to obviously sign Cristiano Ronaldo while he was at Man United. In 2009, <clears throat> he obviously had... I think it was 2008, he had um, a conversation with George Mendes, the agent of Ronaldo, and they signed what we call a pre-agreement. And there is no way Ronaldo could turn down an offer to join Real Madrid. Although he, he extended it by a year later, but he finally made it. And for Kylian Mbappe, it has been now two years since he had a verbal agreement with Fiorentino Perez. But... Fiorentino Perez has been really a very patient man and went ahead to obviously sign a pre-agreement with Kylian Mbappe. And remember in 2022, Kylian Mbappe was having his contract down, you get? And then later, he signed two years with a further option. I think he signed, is it two years? He signed one year with a further option, right? And that further option was supposed to extend last year on 31st of August. 31st of July and he didn't and he made it clear that he's not gonna really be staying at the side of PSG. So <clears throat> that is a very big tick. Learning from your mistake is always great and uh, that's how this man is gonna hit to tick that box that is Fiorentino Perez and Kylian Mbappe is heading to the side of Real Madrid. Now as he heads Real Madrid, the shirt numbers that are really there are really scarce and we just don't know what Fiorentino Perez is going to do. <clears throat> Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe's favorite shirt number is 10. But what number he will get at Real Madrid depends on what Luka Modric will do. If Luka renews, he wants to stay. Mbappe will get the number 9 shirt. Now, there is a battle for shirt numbers at Real Madrid. <clears throat> we can all admit. If you look at... Uh, <clears throat> 
if you look at a Kylian Mbappe, he he always loves that shirt number and you know that very well. 7 or 10. At Real Madrid, shirt number 7 <clears throat> has already gone ahead to be taken by Vinicius Jr and it it's impossible for Vini to obviously hand it over to Kylian Mbappe. It will be like <clears throat> surrendering to him that you are the best player in the world. You get yet we've gone ahead to see Rivaldo coming out and saying that Vinicius Jr is now all has overtaken Kylian Mbappe. <clears throat> you understand? Now, shot number 7 cannot be gotten by Kylian Mbappe and there are two shot numbers that he can get. Shot number 10 and shot number 9. Shot number 9 is already there because Karim Benzema was the man responsible for donning in that shot number last season and went ahead to leave their side to LT Hard in Saudi Arabia and it is really blank and it has no one who dons it. Now As Mbappe <coughs> likes shot number 10 or raise He has found himself in a position of not really getting it at Real Madrid as I brought you a story I think last week but one that even Luka Modric is going to be added one more year at Real Madrid because Real Madrid don't have more money to spend to get in more midfielders to obviously back up what they've going to have to be doing into their side because if you spend close to 120 million euros on Kylian Mbappe's transfer then you go in for Alfonso Davis who wants 50 million euros to come in through and you are getting in uh Hendrik they already paid that amount of money but it has to reflect <laughs> into the transfer budget of this year <clears throat> there is no way Madrid will have to extend themselves further to spend more and more and more money you get so what they have to do is simple they have to find themselves in a better position of really keeping Luka Modric such that next season they'll go in for a number 10 and whichever club that has a number 10 that is really performing very well I get to know that next summer Real Madrid is going to come out bigger and better now who is going to take shot number 10 <clears throat> who is going to take shot number 10 at Real Madrid is it Mbappe or Luka Modric <clears throat> but if you are diplomatic and have as clear Mbappe you have to respect what Luka Modric has gone ahead to do for the side of Real Madrid he has like five six Champions League onto his name he has been there he has he has won a Ballon d'Or <clears throat> with respect you obviously have to leave him hold on to this shirt number 10 for one more season and then he leaves you understand then you take it over put on shirt number 9 like Ronaldo did you have to set the precedent of Ronaldo <clears throat> when Ronaldo went in through to Real Madrid in 2009 2010 season his favorite number was 7 and his company's or his company was registered as CR7 you understand then what Ronaldo did was he found himself not getting shot number 7 because Raul the prince of Banhab was the one donned in it and he had to wait for like 2 years when this guy found himself out of Real Madrid and he really had his shirt number 7 for the rest of the years he was at Real Madrid so i think Kylian Mbappe should wait and it's good that he's not going to wait for long like Ronaldo did when Raul was still at Real Madrid but he has to do the due diligence and really wait so for him he just has to do that i don't expect him to be doing anything better than that so we wait and see how that battle is really going to end but There is also someone else who was presented that shot number and goes as Adagula. Adagula the reason as to why he agreed to sign for Real Madrid was because Luka Modric called him and informed him how the shot number 10 is going to be handed over to him when he really leaves Real Madrid this season. Two lies we are sold to the young lad and the guy looks like he's going to stay and the lad is not going to get the shot number even if Modric leaves the new owner of shirt number 10 is available that is Kylian Mbappe now as we are into this argument the agent of Luka Modric has come out and really spoken about <clears throat> this future of his client he goes by the names of Veldo Lemic so far there is nothing about sorry so far there is nothing clear about Modric's future with Real Madrid next week things will be cleared Next th next week things will be clearer for us. Real Madrid is Modric's home and together we'll decide what is the best. <clears throat> Obviously. Modric would love to be at Real Madrid I think for one more season 
and then he plays for another season and after i think he wants to stop playing elite football in europe when he's playing sorry after playing the world cup of 2026 that is it i think that's what his plan is as a player of real madrid so the agent has gone ahead or tell us that next week things will be clearer maybe they'll tell him if you are to stay here one of the conditions is you're supposed to change the shirt number we don't know how that will happen leaving that Marco Rowis is going to play his last game for Borussia Dortmund on the 1st of June 2024 in the Champions League finale against Real Madrid. But his future is really still in doubt and no one knows exactly where he's really going to go. But our sources, the flies on the wall through Patrick Berger who works for Sky Sports has come out and told us that Marco Rowis has inquiries from the MLS, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and Turkey. These include St. Louis, Inter Miami, and Al Nasser, but nothing has been decided yet. His family will also have a say in the decision because they'll be coming with him. So, Marco Rois, I don't see him going to Saudi Arabia because he's a man who is not moved by money. The reason as to why the fans of Borussia Dortmund love Marco Rois a lot is that for the very many times, Bayern Munich have gone ahead to knock onto the door of Marco Lewis to obviously leave Borussia Dortmund to play for Bayern Munich. Marco Lewis has gone ahead to sound a very big no to that. So that just shows you how huge this guy is in love with Borussia Dortmund. And you might find him go to uh, Inter Miami in America, right? Will he be tempted by the money? I've not seen him get tempted by the money, but maybe the family will at one time say, all right, now this time, let's go for money, not for the pride, you get? So, Marco Rois is a very good player, but injuries have gone to sabotage his final two, three, four years at Borussia Dortmund, but all we know is that he's a very talented player that has always gone ahead to put in a shift where or when required. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. I go by the names of Rock and David. I call upon for your reactions into the comment section below about Kylian Mbappe, Modric shot, no, shot number 10 battle at Real Madrid has been expected. And who do you think should wear or should wear shot number 10 of Real Madrid next season? Where do you think Marco Rois is going to go? America, USA, or he'll go to Qatar? Rock and David signs out. Barak Laufikum to the Muslims and to the Christians. We cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We out.